This video shows how we will glaze our Mialica pots. Mialica is a technique where we have a white base glaze with colorful glazes over the top. We are using the Amico Teachers palette glazes for our colorful um, colors over the white base glaze. They are located in the ceramics room on the bottom shelf in the low fire section. First, step is we are going to wax the bottoms. Now back where the glaze brushes are, there's a cup that says wax brushes. We are going to wax the bottoms because we're going to be dipping our little cups in the white base glaze and the wax will help uh, make it easier to clean it off. So just like on the sample here on the right, you can see that I have waxed not only the bottom but up about an eighth of an inch because you don't want the glaze to be too close to the bottom of the pot when it sits in the kiln. Make sure your hands are clean when you do this and, and you want to grab a clean wax brush. Again, don't use a regular glaze brush, uh, grab a wax brush. And we're going to put one coat of wax on it, being very careful with the, gla with the wax application because if you're messy with it, it will uh, resist the glaze. Wherever you get wax, the glaze will not stick very well. So be very careful with your application and you want to go up the edge ever so slightly, about an eighth of an inch. When this dries, it will look a little bit more clear and you can see here, I've gone up about an eighth of an inch with the wax um, before I dip. I wanna make sure that it looks even. So it will help to keep it clean. Next, wash out the wax brush. The wax brushes should be washed with hot water and a little bit of soap. Here I have the white base glaze. This is the TC11, also Amico, and we are going to uh, mix this up vigorously with a whisk because it will settle between classes. You want to make sure that it is mixed up evenly. Um, the first person back there especially, make sure that it's mixed up well. Always uh, wash your whisks out when you're done. And I usually keep a tray right next to the, uh, the bucket. You're going to be using tongs to hold your piece. Now the tongs, you grip it uh, with one part of the tongue on the inside, one part on the outside, and you're going to dip it into the glaze, flip it upside down, and while squeezing the tongs firmly, you kind of shake it off on the edge of the bucket. This will get the excess glaze to drip up and off. You don't want to uh, have too much glaze on it or it just pools right in the bottom. So take a moment and just kind of let it drip. When it pretty much stops dripping, then you know that you're okay to flip it over. Now you're gonna flip it over. You can, you can wipe the uh, bottom off with a sponge a little bit and then flip it over and put it on the tray. If you maybe missed a spot, you can just dip your finger in the glaze and touch up a little spot there. And we will set the tray aside to dry. For my students, we are going to be creating the Mialica technique by, as I showed, dipping the cups into the uh, Amico Teacher's Choice White Base Glaze, letting it dry, and then we're going to be doing our colorful designs on top with the Amico Teacher's Palette Glazes. These Teacher's Palette Glazes are very versatile glazes. They actually can be painted directly on the raw clay as well. Um, my students, we used to use the uh, Amico Gloss Decorating Colors, the GDC, but I believe they've discontinued those, so we have now switched over in my classroom to using these. Uh, these are very effective because you can paint them on top of another glaze, like the white, or on top of each other, and they really do not bleed, which is, is lovely for the Mialica technique. Now that I have my white base glaze dry, I can go ahead and take a few minutes, and I'm going to use just a pencil, and I'm going to draw out the designs that I would like to have on there. So I'll do that, and I'll come back. With my, des my design drawn in pencil, if I do have an extra pencil line, such as over here, I didn't actually plan it out well, and uh, I ended up by having to move them over, I will have extra pencil lines that I, I will choose to ignore when I paint. Um, you don't have to worry about erasing them or anything because they won't uh, show up when it fires. So now I'm ready to start painting, and of course, just like any glaze, you want to make sure that your glaze is mixed up well, that it is not uh, 
you know, settled in the bottom that it is mixed up nicely from the top. I to usually bottom. encourage my students not to um, uh, shake because if you are not careful and you shake, you can have a, an accident a lot uh, more easily. I'm now done glazing my uh, Mialica design on my pot and the neat thing about Mialica is you could thin your glaze out a little bit more if you want more of a watercolor or transparent effect or you can use it straight out of the jar like I did for more of a solid effect. These will brighten and intensify when they're fired. I'll show you that when it comes out. And the last thing that I really do want to make sure that uh, I have accomplished is I want to wipe the bottom because any glaze that's on the bottom will inevitably stick to the kiln shelf or whatever it is sitting on. In my case at, uh, at school I use patties um, underneath student pieces when they fire and uh, there we go. And here's the finished fired Mialica cup. Um, you can see that the glaze itself will intensify, it brightens, and it will uh, become shiny when it's done.